In the vastness of space, communication is key. Ensuring our astronauts and spacecraft can communicate with NASA's Mission Control Center on Earth. Today, and for more than 30 years, that web of connectivity is made possible by the Space Network and a fleet of nine orbiting communication satellites known as NASA's Tracking and Data Relay Satellite Project, or TDRS. Meet TDRS M, the third replacement satellite in a series of advanced, third generation spacecraft manufactured by Boeing. Standing more than 26 and a half feet tall and stretching more than 69 feet from the tip of one antenna to the other, Tedris M is enclosed in the emblematic payload fairing of a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, stowed away in safety for the extreme journey ahead. More nations are gaining access to space. Congestion across frequency bands is inevitable. But with the help of TDRS, NASA is operating a robust program to improve the efficient use of radio frequency bands and develop advanced communication technologies. TDRS M will carry NASA's space communication into the mid 2020s with years of world class communication and navigation services. But first, the agency and United Launch Alliance must get it into orbit. Preparing to launch a 751,000 pound rocket may sound intimidating to some, but United Launch Alliance engineers at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida have it down to a science. Each piece is methodically lifted and fixed into place with the utmost precision and strict adherence to procedure. It will take Atlas V an hour and 53 minutes to deliver TDRSM to one of Earth's most distant orbits, a geostationary transfer orbit. Atlas must carry TDRSM 22,000 miles straight up, where the spacecraft's speed matches the Earth's rotation. Atlas V has a 100% mission success rate and today, we're all eager to see another perfect launch. To do so, Atlas will deliver more than 860,000 pounds of thrust at liftoff, at times traveling 11,000 miles per hour and burning more than 1,600 pounds of propellant per second. When successful, the Centaur's second stage will release its payload over the Indian Ocean, and once operational, Tedris M will be renamed for service to Tedris 13. If all goes according to plan, the constellation of satellites will be restored for at least the next decade, keeping the communication lines open as NASA continues to study the universe and astronauts take the next giant leap in deep space. Status check to proceed with terminal count, Atlas systems, propulsion, go. Hydraulics, go. Pneumatics, go. LO2, go. Water, go. Electrical systems, airborne, go. Ground, go. Flight control, go. Umbilicals, go. Rock, report range status. Range, green. Spacecraft on internal power. Go Atlas, go Centaur, go teacher T-10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Full thrust. Now passing 45 seconds of the flight. Box 
one, now it's five, now two percent. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure.